Hi David, my name is Anton and now before packing I'm going to show you your Bordola. It is inside of this hard case. Open it. There is two parts. The main part and you can already play in main part but uh, I'll tell you about it a bit later. And the drone part. You have to connect the drone part with the main part with the drone. Drone is the longest, longest pipe. This one, a, a bit darker than Chanter. Okay, and this end you connecting to the main part. Be careful with this connection. And now this hole is closed, and it means that uh, drone is in D. No D is uh, first note of the first and the last note of the chanter. Chanter has uh, six finger holes uh, on the top and one uh, thumb hole on the bottom, and um, uh, it tuned in mixolydian mode by default. So now we can play in D mixolydian. I forgot about how to create sound. You have to put reeds, this part called reeds, into your mouth. Your lips must be on this beeswax and do not touch the tongs on the reeds by anything in your mouth. This is very important and blow. Okay, next tuning of the drone is E note. Remove this cap from the drone from the top from the highest drone hole. Now drone is an E note. This is not uh, you have only you are working only with the highest hole of the drone, but because these two holes are it's a tuning holes and they are not in tune in special notes. Okay, just working with this hole. And now drone is in E. E is the uh, s second note of the chanter we can play in E minor mode. <laughs> Last tuning of the drone is G note. Just remove the drone part and now drone is in G. G is the fourth note of the chanter under this finger. So and play. That's all. Uh, so now, before packing, I make disinfection for the reeds, and I recommend you do not give your instrument to anybody. This is very important for your health, and not depends on epidemic situation in the world. Um, also, watch my video how to operate with reeds, how to work with them. This is very important. This, the reeds is main part of the of all instrument, and very very complicated. And uh, also, also, please let us know when you get your instrument by leaving your feedback on the store where you bought it. Thanks for watching. Ah, one more thing. 
The best air humidity for the reeds is 50% or more, but very low air humidity, less than 40 or 30% is very bad thing for your reeds. Be careful with this thing. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.